Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy Microsoft Hotfix, the um, the .ms su file in SCCM. So you can deploy multiple hotfixes within one shot, within just one package. So now let's get started. So here's the process um, that I outlined. The first one is we're going to download the file. The second step is we're going to create a bad file. The third step, we're going to create an SCCM package. And then the fourth step, we're going to deploy the hotfix. Let's deploy the, um, I'm sorry, let's download the file. The hotfix I'm going to download and deploy is the KB3140245. I have Windows Servers 2012. Download. Downloading. The next one I'm going to download is Windows Servers 2008. And the fourth one I'm going to download Windows 7 X64. I'm not going to download Windows 7 32-bit. Uh, so let's go take a look at West. See if it's already downloaded. Show all. Show folder. So here's the um, the four files, uh, the three files that has been downloaded. I'm going to copy these files and put it on my network share. Let's put it under micro SCCM source updates. I'm gonna call this KB let's call it hot fix KB three one four. 0245 and paste it. Oops, I'm going to copy that and paste it here. Actually, I'm going to create a, I'm going to rename this files. Um, Check out the long names. Hmm. Let's go back here. I thought I downloaded the correct one. I guess the um, these two files are the same. The Windows Silver 2012 and um, 2008. That's fine. I'm just going to do two. I'm just going to deploy two MS, uh, MSU files.
All right, so that's the um, the first step. The second step, we're going to create a, a bat file. I'm going to call this um, install hotfix a bat. All right, so the command line is start slash wait. Should be all cap. Doesn't really matter. Type in WSUA. Sorry, it's a mistake there. WUSA dot exe space quote. It's going to special character here. DPO and then the name of the um, the exe or oh, the MSU sorry slash quiet slash no restart I'm going to have to do the same thing for the next file. Copy the same line. And just copy this file. Uh, this one should be... Um, Should be zero, not O. Gonna click save. Let's see if anything will I miss. DPO. Oops, yes, I do miss. I need to put a percent sign here. Percent sign. And save. So if I manually install this bat file, it's going to install. Let's write, let's give it a try. Run as administrator. All right, let's take a look. I'm running Windows 2008 here, uh, 2012 here. Program files. Copy this. See if I can find it. Hmm. So my server might not need this uh, hotfix. I can t I can try it out by running it manually. Just um, double click on this MSU file. As you can see here, the update is not applicable for this machine. So I have to install on a different machine. That so I'm running an R2, 2012 R2. And this KB is for 2012. So I'm trying to show the process of um, of setting up um, of deploying the MSP file. I'm sorry, the dot MSU file. Let's go back and open it. So that's the uh, second step. The third step you want to do is create an SSCM package. I'm going to copy this, go to my SCM console, 
you can use um, create a package or you can use applications I'm going to create a package put in the path here I'm just going to copy this and put it here so it's hotfix KB I'm going to click next standard program call it install Hotfix KB 314029 command line should be the the bad file normal run as a, whether or not users log on with administrator rights click next next and next and close it out let's refresh <clears throat> Now let's distribute to the to the DP. Right click on the package, distribute contents. Next, choose the DP. Now the step three is we're done with step three. Step four we're going to deploy it. So you can deploy as mandatory, as required, or you can just make it available in Software Center. You put all desktops and client servers. Click next, next. So if you put a required, it's going to automatically install without user interaction. Available, it's going to be available in Software Center only. Click next, next, and next. That's fine. Click next. If I force the um, the policy, it should take a few minutes. Machine policy retrieval. If you don't force the policy, it can take up to 60 minutes. Let's search for it. Software Center. It should show up under Applications. Let's force the policy again. It's going to take some time. Oh, there it is. I'll just do is uh, highlight it and then click on install. So the the process is pretty simple. Um, you just have to create a bad file. If you have multiple, if you have multiple um, hot fixes, you can just add it to your bad file and runs it from there. So the start wait command will wait until it's finished before it's start the next. Um, the next uh, hotfix and if you like my channels please don't forget to subscribe my channel will cover SCCM software deployments software configuration um, Windows 10 deployment anything related to Office 365 and Azure thank thank you for watching and have a good day